Assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to my youtube channel math experts students if you are new here please do subscribe my youtube channel click the bell icon and if you have any question you can send us by email in the comment section i will solve and send to you first of all i will share the question with you uh, from thomas calculus chapter number 14 question number uh, 57 here you can see the c in exercise 57 to 60 57 to 60 use the limit definition of partial derivative to compute the partial derivatives of the functions at specified point point is given 1 and 2 for this function and we need to find the partial f by partial x and partial f by partial y and here we are specified to use the limit definition of partial derivative so we will discuss this question completely here first of all uh, we will write the question we are given that f of x by is equal to 1 minus x plus y minus 3 x square y we need to find partial f by partial x and partial f by partial y at point partial f by partial y at point at point 1 and 2 1 and 2 first of all i will write the definition for you definition we use here is uh, partial f by partial x is equal to limit limit h approaches to 0 f of x plus h by minus f of x by divided by h and similarly for partial f by partial y we use limit h approaches to 0 f of x y plus h minus f of x by divided by h so students we use these two definition uh, to compute the limit at specified points okay students this is for partial f by partial x and here the next one is for partial f by partial y now we will move to our question and solve this here the function is this so partial f by partial x at specified point 1 by 1 and 2 is so we can apply limit h approaches to 0 h of h approaches to zero f of at the place of x we put here 1 1 plus h and at the place of y we put 2 minus f of at the place of uh, x we put 1 at the place of y we put 2 divided by divided by h so we have f of x y is equal to 1 minus x plus y minus 3 x square y so we need to find the these values f of 1 plus h 2 and f of 1 2 so uh, f of a uh, partial f our partial x is equal to limit h approaches to 0 so our definition is f of f of 1 plus h 1 plus h comma y at the place of y we put 2 and f of 1 to divided by h so now limit h approaches to 0 f of 1 plus 2 so we directly put here 1 minus at the place of x we put 1 plus h 1 plus h and then at the place of y we put 2 minus 3 at the place of x we put 1 plus h at the place of y we put 2 minus at the place of 1 minus this is f of 1 plus h comma 2 minus and now we put f of 1 2 at the place of x we put 1 and at the place of y we put 2 so at the place of x we put 1 plus 
एट द प्लेस ऑफ फाइव बाई फोर टू माइनस थ्री इंटू वन का स्क्वेयर इंटू टू एंड दैट क्लोज बैकेट एंड हेयर वी हैव डिवाइडेड बाई एच नाउ वी हैव ए लिमिट एच अप्रोच टू जीरो वी जस्ट सिंप्लीफाई दिस नाउ वन माइनस वन प्लस नॉट प्लस प्लस माइनस माइनस एच माइनस एच प्लस टू माइनस थ्री इंटू वन प्लस एच का स्क्वेयर माइनस टू एच इंटू टू माइनस वन माइनस वन दिस वन कैंसल विद दिस वन टू माइनस एंड वन का स्क्वेयर वन एंड थ्री टू जार सिक्स ओके स्टूडेंट्स एंड हियर वी हैव डिवाइडेड बाय एच अगेन सिंप्लीफिकेशन we get limit h approaches to 0 uh, now you can cancel these these two values this one cancel with this one cancel with this one and here you can see that this one cancel with this one and uh, finally we get by um, uh, again simplification we have minus h minus 6 into 1 plus 2h plus H का Q H का square and then plus six divided by H. Now uh, if I if I apply limit H approaches to zero, so uh, we have by simplification thirteen H minus six H का square divided by H. Now we can apply limit limit h approaches to zero limit approach h approaches to zero uh, h into minus 13 minus 6h divided by h this h cancel with this h when we apply the limit here limit h approaches to zero we have minus 13 so it's mean partial f by partial x partial f by partial x At point one two, we have minus thirteen. Minus thirteen. Now we will find partial f by partial y. So we use the limit h approaches to zero f of one two plus h. Now we make the change with respect to y. So At the place of x we put one. At the place of y we put two. Minus f of one two divided by h. Now we will put these values here. It's easy for you. You can find one and two plus h, and then f of one two. So I apply directly here. Limit h approaches to zero. One. Minus one plus at the place of x we put one two plus h at the place of y we put two plus h minus three into two plus h at the place of uh, x we put one and one cos square is equal to one minus uh, then at the place of x we put one and at the place of y we put two plus h so we get two minus six. And uh, divided by divided by h. Now, by simplification, limit h approaches to zero. We have here two minus six minus two h minus two minus six. And uh, again, we have divided by h. Okay, students. Now. By again simplification, limit h approaches to zero. We have here minus two, and when h approaches to zero, minus two, minus six, minus two, and plus six. So uh, this this two minus two plus two cancel, and this minus six minus minus plus six cancel. We have minus two h divided by h, and here we have minus two h divided by h. And this h cancel with this h cancel with the this h we have here minus two. 
इट्स मीन दैट पार्शल एफ बाई पार्शल वाई एट पॉइंट वन टू इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू तो दिस इज अवर सोल्यूशन इन दिस केस ओके स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क बाई ई मेल इन द कमेंट सेक्शन थैंक यू